Well, it was a basketball type day here in the Valley. And we don't have too many left because there's less than a month left in the high school basketball season. I know. It's flying by, but we get some highlights to watch. Fruita Monument hosting a struggling Warriors team tonight, and our Cowboys and overalls were ready for a Fruita win. But it was Central who was aggressive inside and lethal outside. Missed layup, second cha chance pass to Raylan Manchester. You know how the song goes. It's Raylan threes. Hallelujah. Hey, still early though, and the Wildcats, they're not worried. Baseline floater done to perfection by Tanner Wolford. Fruta now on top, but not by much. Then the Wildcats found their groove. Labonte with the lob, and Ian Barnes with the preserves. Fruta making basketball fun while extending their lead, and Coach Sedanich not liking how his Warriors are playing. And he's not going to like this either. Labonte sees Wolford all alone, shares the rock, and Wolford skips it into the ocean. Because that's how big the hoop looked tonight for Fruta. Wilford, he's got ice in his veins, and the Wildcats add another win to the win column. 71-38 is the final. That makes it four in a row for the Wildcats. Now let's check out some other scores from around the Western Slope. All the home teams were victorious tonight. Montrose continuing their hot streak with nine wins in a row. Now with a 64-31 win over Grand Junction. And the Bulldogs reach 500 on the season, beating the Panthers by eight. All right, now we got to talk about some college hoops because it was an odd weekend for CMU. Out of the two programs, they combined for just one win, which means that the women's win streak is over. 14 wins in a row, snapped by the Mavs' arch rival, Westminster. The Mavs lost by four to the Griffins, and it was the second half where Mesa hit a wall. And in the words of the wise Austin Powers, they couldn't find their mojo. It was CMU's first loss in conference play. They haven't smelt the stench of losing since November 23rd of last year. But hey, they're still ranked 25th in the country, but now they got to get back to their winning ways. Yeah, we couldn't make shots. We gave up open shots. Um, you know, I, unfortunately, we're up 18, with, and they call a timeout with three minutes to go in the third quarter, and they come out and hit two uncontested threes. And, I thought that changed the momentum in the game. And Coming out with a loss on that one um, kind of sets in more, like that we can't uh, get complacent in that fourth quarter anymore at all. Um, kind of just a lesson we had to learn, I guess. Always hard to learn, especially for me. Hey, the men also went into the weekend with a win streak. Okay, it was only four games, but it still counts. However, it ended pretty quickly because they got swept on the road. This team is probably the most hot and cold team when it comes to playing at home versus the road. They're a perfect 9-0 in Bronson, but out of their six away games, they've only won once. Yeah, they know that they, that needs to change, but right now it seems like the crazy long road trips have taken a toll on them. It's hard, I can tell you that. Um, going, driving, what was the most, 12 hours we drove to South Dakota, then having to play a game the next day. That was one of the hardest like things, like basketball-wise, I've ever done. We get to the hotel at three in the morning after a really emotional loss. Um, we just, uh, we really just ran out of gas on that second day. It was not a very good team effort. You know, our captain Tommy really stepped up in the locker room after the Westminster loss, and that kind of didn't sweep anything under the carpet. He kind of let it all out, you know, and let everyone know uh, what the deal was, what we need to get done, uh, how we need to grow up, you know, and. He's talking about how we need to be more focused and shoot around and just uh, game prep. Well, they got to make the changes quick because the Mavs, they're going to be back on the road this weekend with Regis on Friday and Colorado Christian on Saturday. But luckily, they get to sleep in the same motel, and it's not a 12-hour road trip. Hey, that's all the time we have for sports, but don't go anywhere. we got more news coming up right after this.